WrestlingFigureShop.com. Discount code Unstable saves 10% on all your action figures. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. Today, I'm basically going to be redoing a video that I did in the past. I'm basically going to be talking about why Mattel should should stop doing the collector's edition figures. Now, like I said, I did do this video in the past, so I'm basically going to be going over kind of the same thing and I guess I'll add a few new points in but when I did make the video last time it was before they even came out I believe they they announced what they were gonna do or I I probably did it after the Bob Backlund came out but I can't remember it it was either right before they came out or like right after Bob Backlund came out I honestly do not remember so bear with me here but uh I'm like I said I'm basically just going to be bringing up a bunch of facts that I did in that video and then add a few uh more points into why Mattel should stop and why these are a terrible idea but before I get into that I just got to give a quick shout out to my boy God Toy Hunter 24 on Instagram he was the first person who used my discount code on wrestlingfigureshop.com he got himself the elite 71 Jeff Hardy and the Elite Big Show. So I really appreciate you using my code, man. Thank you very much. Remember, go to Wrestling Figure Shop for all your WWE action figure needs and use discount code UNSTABLE at checkout. You will save yourself 10% off your order. Now back to the video. Where should I even start with this video? I really don't know. Okay, so we back in back when they first announced it, I know a few people were like saying this was like a terrible idea. I was one of them. I know a lot of people were angry in the community, like, why would they even do that? why would they think that's a good idea there was a few a few disagreements there was like half saying oh this could be fun this could be great then the other half were like saying no this is a terrible idea and of course it turned out to be a terrible idea i mean use your head you go back to what they said i mean and look at it now i mean it was a bad idea from the start pretty much but uh at the beginning the bob Backlund that was the first one out of the collector's edition line um and it, there was a huge mix-up. WWE Shop got them in uh, for it was. A, it ended up being a mistake. I know a big number of people got it from WWE Shop, so they got lucky. They didn't have to go out and hunt for it. Um, I was one of those people. I got it at the time when I found the Bob Backlund. I wasn't even hunting for it, and I remember I left it there. And I, I was thinking to myself when I left that Walmart and went home. You know, maybe I should go back and get it because it is a collector's edition. I I already have one, but maybe I could have it loose. And then of course I went back the next day and it was gone. So. These are very popular figures. Uh, uh, Mattel, the, Bill, I should say, he, I think he's the one who said it. He's like, oh, the figures that are going into the collector's edition line are figures that we can't put in a regular elite line because we, we don't think people will buy them, which uh, was a BS answer to me at least because look who we got. We got Bob Backlund. I mean, uh, Legends, uh, I, I, for some legends, legends, I understand because maybe not a lot of people know about them or nothing, but uh, like how you, I think the Legends would go much better in the elite line for the uh, fans of the flashback figures like myself i know dean is a huge flashback collector and i know a lot of people in this community who love the flashback figures i'm personal friends with them and the flashbacks are their favorites out of the line some of them they just get the flashbacks and then like of course for example we got bob Backlund, sherry pat patterson briscoe which i still do not have uh we got the rock he's kind of a flashback i guess you can say but not not like the other people that I didn't mention, like Bob Backlund, Sherry, and so on. Uh, but uh, his answer was like, he can't add them into the main elite line, which again is just stupid because not a lot of people would buy them, which uh, I disagree with so much because let me just give you an example of why I think that was a lie. And let, let's just say it. Okay, so Don Morocco, he's going to be in the Survivor Series elite line, which I'm happy for, not a collector's edition. Uh, but when you think about it, like, do... Um, is there a large group of people who know Don Morocco for, let's say, over Bob Backlund, which WWE mentions uh, a lot of Bob Backlund, but they rarely or ever do mention Don Morocco. So you're saying Don Morocco, he could go in the, an elite line easy, no collector's edition, but Bob Backlund, he got to go in the collector's edition line because not a lot of people are going to buy them. Then again, Liv Morgan, Sonya Deville. Sonya, Sonya Deville, um, okay, we got her basic, so why did she have to go in the collector's edition line? She could have just been a release. And then there was that whole problem with half of them are missing skirts. Thankfully, my boy got toy on a 24. Thank you again, man. He actually hooked me up with the Liv Morgan and Sonya you if you missed the unboxing video the other day because my stores have not yet got elite 69 i should say my targets have not got elite 69 yet they haven't got i have two targets in my area they have not got any 
uh, Elite, past Elite 68, and when I found Elite 68, Walmart already had those for over like a month, I believe. So, of course, no one wanted Elite 68 since all the Walmarts in my area ha had them for over a month before. So, why would we go to Target and get Elite 68 when we already got them? It makes absolutely no sense. So, uh, I was still confused because at the time when uh, there were... Some targets were getting Elite 68, and others were getting the Series 2 top picks, which um, my target still has not got, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing, Mattel's distribution is just trash, you know? Th th this whole thing is just an absolute mess. But back to the figures, I mean, Alexander... Wo no, let's go to the Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn, he was like the biggest problem out of this whole collector's edition line people were going crazy for that pete dunn i remember there was a pete dunn when it first hit selling for 300 to 500 dollars on ebay not people asking for that people were actually paying for that because people wanted a pete dunn like how are you gonna like another thing yeah where pete dunn's in the collector's edition line he can't make that money and put it in the elite line because not a lot of people are gonna buy it they're in the collector's edition line he was like the most sought after figure of 2019 everyone wanted him so bad there was all that mess people were messaging mattel like crazy emailing them i know actually one person did get it from mattel was dean i know he did get a lot of hate for that but at the time i don't think he even asked them he was just complaining about it and they just sent him the pete dunn at, just at a, i guess the niceness of their heart mm. uh, but another one who who was i just gonna mention again who was i just gonna mention i don't even know what i was mentioning but oh let's uh, back to um Pete Dunn. Hey, you can't put him in the regular elite line, but look, guys, we're getting another Pete Dunn. As of now, I'm assuming is going to be in the regular elite line. We saw it at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, Ringside Fest isn't here yet, so will we see it at Ringside Fest? I have no idea. We saw, like, the render pictures of it. Will he be in a, a elite line? Will he be in a regular elite line? I don't even remember. I... I think a leak, the, the, a leaks came out for the elites, and I think Pete Dunn was in one of the regular elite lines. I could be wrong, but if it is true, he's becoming in a regular elite line. Another lie by uh, Mattel, Bill, again. Like, come on, Mattel. Like, these figures are so hard. Like I said, back to my stores. Stores are not going to get all the figures no matter what. I mean, I can't believe... I, don't, I can't even tell you how many situations I've been in where I couldn't find a certain elite series. We'll go, we'll go off topic a little and talk about the... Flat, last flashback series exclusive to Walmart. What did like 10% of people see those in stores? Then the Fan Centrals and the first Survivor Series line, another uh, bulk series that a small percentage of people saw. They just like skipped like a million Walmarts. Like we we can't trust the stores. I mean, he did say another thing. Walmart and Target want all these exclusives. Someone just commented to me. Um, well, they said Walmart and Target want these exclusives. We got to do what they say. Okay, that's fine. But make an exclusive line okay you're starting up with the network spotlights again that's fine but those you put two in each case that was two two sets per case that was awesome we we got a chance to get them thankfully i got them i know a lot of people other people got them i know um it was at what was it new york comic con or entertainment earth was selling them so that was an easy thing to get because it's not one per case and then the, the again they started off mattel started off with the one per series now they're up to like three per series look 69 had Liv Morgan Sonya Deville and The Rock 78 only had Gerald Briscoe but look now we're on to 71 they got Cassius Ono and Paige like it, it, we're never gonna get a break it's always gonna be constant you know we're never gonna be able to catch up because of how many series they come out at once but they they just make the collector's edition figures so hard to get. And then I believe, uh, back to it, I uh, at the time when I said I made the video and we really didn't know how it was going to be, I know a few people were like, it could be a good idea, but half were saying the bad idea. And when it was going on, the only person that said it was a great idea and we need to stop complaining was Zack Ryder. And uh, uh, if I get you mad, it, people that are watching who are fans of Zack Ryder's, Oh, well, but I'm going to say it anyway, and we know it's the truth. I mean, he blocked so many people when he made that video because people were calling him out. I mean, you get every figure free from Mattel. You get the figures from Ringside Collectibles, and I know people are going to say, oh, you're just jealous. I don't care about Zach, right? I don't watch his podcast. I have no need to watch his podcast, but when you say a statement like that, oh, we need to stop complaining. Well, you, we need to stop complaining. Well, you don't know what we have to go through to get these collector's edition figures. You don't know how we got to go to toy hunt and get these figures. I mean, like I said, you get them all free from Mattel. So you, you don't have to go out hunting. I know you do those toy hunts sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but that's just for your channel so you get more views i understand that but like i said you don't know what we have to go through so when you're saying oh we need to stop complaining it's a great idea no uh, just just stop talking just stop talking i know a large group of people they get lucky finding those but i know a much larger group of people 
Like I, I still have people, uh, my, some of my friends saying, oh, they have they still have not found the Liv Morgan and Sonya Deville, and I'm one of those people. I still have not seen them. And guys, you're like, oh, we got we got a toy hunt, but I know a lot of people are saying you just got to keep toy hunting. But I don't, we don't really need a toy hunt anymore because we got the Pop Finder, we got the Brixie. So recently, uh, I should say, I shouldn't say recently. It's been months now, probably probably close to a year, maybe even longer. I haven't had a go out to the stores every single day hoping to find one because we got pop finder we got brick seek we could check the stock every day so we don't have to waste trips anymore but i'm just saying i check pop finder and brick seek twice three times a day they never go up so i know when they get the figures pop finder never failed me once i got a lot of my figures from pop finder that's how i found my uh network spotlight figures i found a bunch of other elites a bunch of basic battle packs because i don't need to hunt no more because it tells me when they get the stock and does it say what series if it's for the regular elite series no but it, if it goes up by eight i take the chance i know i f got failed a few times because it wasn't the uh specific elites that i was looking for um i remember uh the other day i went to go do a toy hunt my walmart went up i thought i found elite 70 i go in they restock elite 69 can i do anything about it there goes the dogs they're fighting can i do anything about it no i say oh well it failed me i can't blame pop finder because it just went up it doesn't tell me which elite series it is because they all the regular elite series all say uh uh share the same code so i was like uh, i was a little upset i was like okay but then another thing about my walmart's none of my walmart's got them in because they all are loaded up with other elites, like Elite 69, for example. They keep restocking Elite 69, Elite 68. Like, like I think they should. There should be a certain amount of time the figures should be on the sell, uh, shelves, and if they don't sell them, put them in the clearance aisle or something. But but Walmart, they never do that. Target never do that. I know they have their sales sometime Target, but Walmart, they rarely ever do clearance figures. I know some people get lucky sometimes, but uh, they're gonna be on the shelf for a long time. And especially now, I there was that time well were we like three or four months where there was no figures in the stores not brand new we still never got an explanation so mattel is just all over the place and it's just a sad situation all around but the, i just wish they would stop the collector's edition i know i was going off topic a lot in this video but i i think i'm bringing up good points like they're one per case i mean half the time the stores don't even get the series in and when they do by the time uh we get to the stores if you don't check pop finder or brick seek regularly or you're at work when pop finder goes up and you go there uh and after work you go there and they're gone of course someone beat you to it if they're checking pop finder too so it's like it's like you gotta be there the second and they get them or you're gonna miss out on them i can't even tell you how much i think the only one where i seen a bunch of time was the rock because he was shipped with elite 68 and also um the ghostbusters and of course that wasn't really a good collector's edition if we're all gonna be honest i was like probably the one people care the least about i guess you could say uh because we got so many rock figures before uh but uh, i'm just i just wish they would make if they want to do figures like that Put a few in the cases. I mean, because look at the prices on eBay. Another example. You know, we got these collector's editions. Ka -ka -ka Cassius Ono right now. Uh, Paid shoes, $150. Uh, same with him. I mean, when they just hit stores, they go up for these crazy prices. And then another thing, uh, you got people buying them. And that's another thing. They're get, if the scalpers are getting them first, putting them on eBay. Um, but if it's just a regular guy putting it up for uh, like a dollar at first and the people bid it up for that, I'm not going to be mad at that guy because he put it up for a dollar. I'm going to be mad at the people bidding that because they're letting the people win. They're going to continue having the elite figures that should not be over $20 in stores or anywhere on eBay, uh, which they aren't. I'm just talking about like, e like eBay, like you put a brand new collector's edition online, selling for $150. It's going to stay that way. And then people are going to say, oh, well, you just got to wait a month or two. But look, guys, I, I still can't find Liv Morgan and Sonya Deville. It's been what, two, three months now? And my target, both targets, two targets still have not went up in over two months with any figures at all basics elites battle packs nothing at all so that's how some of our stores are i even know for some people they don't even have a target in their area like my one friend mini muta uh and a few other of my friends so they can't even check target if they they'd have to drive two hours away and people don't got that kind of time so that's another thing or if they want to do these collector's editions have online retailers sell them like amazon and places like that because this all the collector's edition are just going to be impossible to get or uh, just a headache a migraine if these do not stop or they change the ways they're doing them i mean don't get me wrong all the figures are great i have every single one well i i can't say that because i don't have page oh no and gerald briscoe now so 
just a headache like i said a headache but hopefully you guys agree with what i've been saying i apologize my dog's been going crazy like this whole video so i just wanted to say that i tried to ignore them but it's it's impossible uh but if i miss any points i'm sure i did i'm sure i'm gonna be thinking about a million after i end this video and i'm uploading it i'm gonna be like why didn't i say that stuff but I, i'm sure i'm gonna there's a million points we could add a million other points while the collector's editions are bad ideas i know i'm gonna get a lot of people just saying i'm complaining and stuff i'm already well prepared for that but hopefully you guys agree with me uh the true beautiful people out there and you understand that these are a bad idea because i get messages every day from the beautiful people yo i, can't, I still can't find the figures i'm right there with you i'm right there with you that's all i can really say so mattel i know you're not watching the dogs are fighting so i'm gonna end this video mattel i know you're not watching but hopefully if we get a movement where people actually start talking about it, like please stop this someone start a petition I'm, I'm pretty sure there was even a petition at one point about this so someone we we just got to get a movement stop the collector's edition or change the collector's edition something because it's just going to be a headache until then you know we could get the regular elites we could get the basics we could get the battle packs anywhere that's no problem the stores if they don't get them we got other uh online options amazon walmart gets them at a later uh, walmart website i should say gets them at a later date uh but for these exclusives the exclusives i know uh now Network spotlights and stuff like that um uh the survivor series the they're they're somewhat hard i guess you could say but they're not like collector's edition where there's only one per case you get you get like two sets in a box so that's more that's more reasonable i know my friend another example i should make before i end this video he said that uh for marvel legends when they do exclusives like this they add like uh eight of the one per case and i mean i'd rather in my opinion i'd rather have them a on the case, A on the shelf, so maybe shelf warm a, uh, warming a little. I'd rather have that than to not be able to find them at all. That's just me, but you guys let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, if you agree, please hit that thumbs up button. If you don't agree, let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Uh, if you're a new viewer, please subscribe for more. I love each and every one of you. See you guys next time.